Welcome back, innovators. It is now Thursday, and although you're losing the soul pyramid in air during this course of the day, you're also gaining today a temporary soul pyramid in fire. That's right, triggered by the moon in Aries, which is down in the house of thinking and communication. The moon in Aries is actually tying into Venus in Leo and Pluto up in Sagittarius. Now, Venus in Leo is that force that's helping you really forge brand new, awesome long-term partnerships that really understand your way of relating and at the same time are what you've been looking for all along now that you've kind of stepped up after Saturn has left this sector of your life. So it's time to start creating some new great fun relationships now that you've done all the hard homework basically. So your heart is really doing that today. In fact, I would say any conversation you have that's very in-depth today, really open your heart, be genuine. I think it's going to bring you into these new relationships. Even if it's a stranger, you'd be surprised how the universe works. And at the same time, those two planets are dovetailing into Pluto or trining into Pluto, which means as you step into the moment, open your heart, remain genuine and honest, and really develop these new relationships, the old persona of you, the old reputation of you, is going to go ahead and die. And that's necessary. It's going to be finishing that transit in, in January of 2008, and you're going to find you're in a whole new place in the world, I think, when that's over. These are the beginning steps. Now, at the same time, the sun is in Libra, so this is a very philosophical month for you anyways. This is the month that you spend every year re-examining what you believe in and why. Maybe you want to upgrade, maybe you want to innovate. Today, Uranus, your ruling planet, is actually ruling the sun. The sun is still in chapter one of Sun and Libra, so there's a great possibility that through one of these conversations or interactments with other people, you will come to a great aha moment, because Uranus is innovation. That's why I call you the innovator. So there's a real nice little gem there that Aquarius is really love, which is to see the greater big picture. And today, you'll either see something to look into, or you might even get a glimpse of that greater picture, because you guys learn fast in this capacity. All right, that's all we have for Thursday. I'll be back tomorrow with the weekend forecast. Live, love, be. So good.